All right. Well, we will get started. Um, welcome, everyone. Hopefully, you had an awesome weekend and you're ready for the 95 degree heat and you have water near you and you're able to still enjoy summer. So, uh, I think we got a good 10 day window of 90. So, it's going to be a fun way to end summer. Um, just We'll follow my agenda tonight, and we're gonna finish tonight with kind of what our master schedule will, will kind of look like. I'm just gonna talk you through it tonight, and then uh, we will be putting out um, a visual for you to each family once we can put it in a school-wide format that best fits uh, so that you can easily understand as a parent and as a student. Uh, but I'm just gonna kind of talk it through tonight, and then in the next few days, uh, over email, uh, I'll send that out. We'll also have copies at the meet and greet next week uh, that we can give you one for your fridge. Uh, we will also share it on our website and I'm sure teachers will share it uh, in their learning platforms um, so that students can get on anytime and be able to check a schedule and parents can get on anytime to make sure that you're not missing anything that you want to be at and that you are uh, communicated with and you, so you understand. So uh, we're gonna finish with that tonight, uh, but we do have um, some things I'd like to share with you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to just kind of talk through the meet and greet expectations of next week. And I'll share the PowerPoint with you as well from tonight, just so you have that. But, and I don't want the meet and greet to sound like a humbug or anything, but uh, we do have pretty strict guidelines by our district and, and by the state of Oregon of what a, a meet and greet from a school should look like. And so I just wanna make sure we're all on the same page. And uh, our meet and greet is next uh, Wednesday, Thursday, the 9th and 10th from three to 5 p.m. And students and families and staff, you know, students and families and, and kiddos, you know, I guess I would just say make sure you go to the bathroom before you leave the house. Uh, we can't have any families or students in the building um, at any point. And so uh, there's a lot of trees and stuff around Evergreen, so I'm not too worried about it. But, um, you know, we just can't have anyone in the building. So, and then our staff will be, all, all of us will be wearing face masks and, you um, maintaining that, that six foot distance um, at all times. And then we're asking our parents and our students that come to all wear face masks as well and uh, maintain that six foot space during our meet and greet. Uh, we wanna see you, we wanna talk with you, we wanna ask you how summer went and talk with each kiddo, um, but we do have to maintain that space and those face masks um, and again, of course, they're not gonna have those on during school pictures or anything. We'll be able to remove those and, and we're, we're outside and that will be fine. And we know that parents will wanna go and park and get out of the car and help with technology, help with pictures. Um, and so all of that's great. Uh, but just two big things, six foot and masks are pretty important. So uh, hopefully you all take that the right way. And uh, you know, it, it's kind of a hard one because every family has different views on it, right? And every, like my household's different than your household and uh, some people could care less and, uh, but some people are very, very adamant on that. And I think we just gotta respect everyone around that and, and uh, do the best we can with where we're at. Um, but that, that would be our, our expectation and our request to you guys. And that's ours from our staff as well. So we're committed to your children's safety and we want the, the very best there. So. Um, picture packets will be coming to you. They'll be coming to you digitally so you can see them before you show up so you know kind of what you would like. Um, but then there'll also be some available that night too that if you don't have one, uh, you can pick one up that evening. Uh, we'll be handing out all the iPads, Chromebooks. Uh, I know teachers might have some whiteboards and different things from each classroom that we'll be sending home. Um, and, and so, uh, that is next Wednesday, Thursday, three to five at Evergreen. We, we you know, the goal definitely is 100% there so we can see each family. 
we will not be having our meet and greet next week um, because we have two nights of a meet and greet. So I will not be hosting this online forum next week. Uh, hopefully we can just talk with you and if you have any questions or concerns or uh, anything we can do from you, we'll take care of it during that Wednesday, Thursday time. Um, and of course, we're always available by phone, email, and I can have a Google Meet with you any day and time. So that can all, always be set up. So that is the meet and greet. Um, we do have a different um, decision than what I told you last week about food service. So. We just found out today that ODE, Oregon Department of Education, extended the summer mealtime program until December 31st. So until December 31st, you and your family, you, the students at Evergreen can go at any pickup site and grab a lunch. Um, so any of you that were taking advantage of that, I know we had a few families doing that every day. That will be at least open until December 31st. It's a grab and go. There's usually a hot lunch, um, choice and then there's always a PB and J so um, but you'll you'll have you'll have that option until December 31st um, the pickup sites for that are Mark Twain Elementary Robert Frost Silverton High School Butte Creek Scotts Mills Silvercrest and Victor Point so uh, you can go to any of those sites and pick up a meal for your students Um, I, I will share with you again, the, I know we've had some families take advantage of the internet at silverfalls.k12.or.us. And again, I'll share this PowerPoint with you so you have it. Um, but uh, our tech department at Silverton High School is trying to assist any families that are struggling with internet or the hotspot didn't work last year or uh, you have five kids and your, your bandwidth is just not ample. Um, and so they're trying to help families through that. And I know I've had a few conversations with our families and, and uh, so I'm not sure exactly, you know, the help they can give you, but I know that they're offering that. And I know we have extra funds available to try to help families out. So, and I know definitely in the evergreen area, there's some dead zones and some spots where it's just awful. Um, so I would I would take advantage of that if you if you could. I'm also going to send you in this email a parent resource um, link, and it's brand new from the district, and uh, it's kind of for the parent coach at home and the student at home to navigate our two new tools with um, Canvas and Ingenuity, and it's a lot of how to and there's a lot lot on there and so um i'm going to share that link with you um and you'll you'll see the link when i when i give you the powerpoint but it's a click and and then you're on the site and it's super user friendly and it will help you especially in those first couple of weeks of school navigate where we need to be how do we do it and you know if you have questions there's a lot of search and um opportunities for you there so I'll be sharing that with you and I'm going to share my screen at this time this was the link I was telling you about that you can just click on and uh, go for the Parent Resource Center. This was the internet at Silver Falls. This is the email address. If you have any service needs or technology needs or Wi-Fi needs at your home. Just want to talk through master schedule and I wanted to put it on the screen so you can kind of read along with me. Uh, again, a schedule will be coming out in the next couple days, a visual schedule that you can put on your fridge, that you can keep on your computer. <clears throat> uh, we'll also have them on all of our sites to where you'll be able to kind of visually see your student's day. We'll kind of break it up into a K3, 
a four five and a six seven eight and and hopefully have that in all one format for you but basically teachers will begin each morning around 8 15 or 8 30 with a live meeting and this is really the connection time for our students i think uh if students are missing anything at this point, uh, they're missing their friends, they're missing their teachers, they're missing that connection with other students in their class. And so our plan is to have a morning meeting every morning to where a teacher can get uh, the kids together and, and have circle time and have discussions and uh, kind of set the tone for the day, kind of discuss the modules they'll be doing, discuss the work that's ahead of them, and kind of just set the standard for the day. Um, and, and that will be every morning. Now, understand when I'm taking you through this schedule, we also understand that you cannot be there every morning and that, you know, the schedule we set for you just may not work for you and your family. And again, I want you guys all to know we fully understand that. So, but we have to set a schedule for the day uh, and submit that to our district and the state. And so we, we have, almost completed that schedule and we'll be rolling that out. But that does not mean that you are tied to that or or we we frown or look down upon it if you cannot attend, okay? Beginning at 8.30, each grade level will have 45 minute block available to meet with their teacher in a live Google meeting. So the teacher will provide guidance, help, answer questions regarding the day's work in the online curricu curriculum at Genuity. We have mapped out the day so that no two students from the same household will have to meet online at the same time. Um, these teacher facilitated learning opportunities are available daily, Tuesday through Friday. And if there's some really important stuff that your child will need to do some modules or some teaching or something around that, we will try to record those and push those to you so you could watch them at another time during that day. Um, the scheduled time for that 45 synchronous, synchronous meeting for with your uh, teacher and child kind of will follow this format. So every morning kinder will kick us off at 830 and then second grade at 915, first grade at 10, 1045 third grade, 1130 fifth grade, 12, 7th, 1 o'clock 4th, 1, 45, 6th, and 2, 38th. Those will all go 45 minutes or, you know, some days they might be 20 minutes. Some days they might be 45 minutes. It just depends on how much help the, ch the children need on a particular module or language arts or math, what teaching is occurring, and, you know, our, our, our staffs are going to be coming along your child to help. So, you know, they're going to be doing the modules at home. The learning coach at home is going to be helping them through. And then if there are times to where, man, I didn't get it. I need help. Please teach me. That's what those 45 minutes are used for daily. Um, and our staff felt it was pretty important daily um, to do that. Uh, you know, a lot of schools in the school district are only twice a week where they have those live opportunities with um kids in classes, but um, we felt pretty important that daily instruction and help needed to happen for our kids to get what they need. So um, so that's kind of the 45 minute synchronous time in our schedule. <clears throat> and then when students are not in real time meeting or synchronous activity, they should be engaged in the applied learning, which you'll see on our schedule when it comes out. And this just means they are using the Edgenuity online learning program to work through their subject area modules in math, language arts, social studies, science. Each teacher will have daily office hours. So these office hours are time set up to help if, if a student or, or a parent needed questions answered or needed extra learning help. Our K-5 office hours will be from 2 to 3, and our 6-8 office hours will be from 9 to 10 a.m. And then once you get your schedule, you'll notice there are times in the schedule for WIN, W-I-N, 
And that kind of stands for what I need, what the child needs. Um, and those are 45 minute windows where we will be pushing in support to help your child. Um, they're used for small group support, uh, also students with specific needs, 504s, uh, special education. Uh, they might be a tag student. It could be an enrichment opportunity for them. Um, but when you see the WIN or WIN, what I need, um, that's the 45 minute window where we're gonna be pushing in classified support staff. They might be running a small group or working with a child one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so we're still kind of finalizing the timing of those uh, support opportunities, <clears throat> but they will be in blocks throughout the day to avoid conflict with the other student learning opportunities. I know that's a lot and it'll be easier to see when you kind of see it visually and we'll get you that within the next couple of days. Uh, but hopefully that kind of explains what a child's day might look like um, in this online world and where we're going and, and what we're doing. So <clears throat> I can tell you uh, that staff has only been back, teachers have only been back two days. Um, and, you know, I, I would imagine that I know my head is spinning. I know their heads are spinning trying to learn two brand new platforms, Edgenuity and Canvas. Uh, they were in six hours of in-service today, six hours yesterday, um, and working their tails off to be ready. Um, there, there's no harding, harder working staff out there. And, you know, the, the thing about teachers is, and, and I've been a teacher for many years, and, and I would say the same for myself, is that we're kind of perfectionists, and things have to be perfect. And, you know, the online teaching has thrown a lot of curves. And, and so when you don't feel perfect, it adds that ex extra anxiousness to your day, and like the feeling of unknown, and how am I gonna do this, and these platforms, and the learning. But just know that, um, you know, not very many days in education have I had to earn my money. Uh, we don't, we, we're not in it for the money and we, we're in it for children and, and uh, their education um, and we're in it to help. And so are we gonna figure it out? Most definitely, is it gonna be perfect? No, it'll be some grace from both of us, uh, but man, our staff's committed and uh, we're committed to your children and we're going to make it the best learning opportunity possible. And um, just just know that 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 will happen. So um, I'd like to open it to any questions. If one of our staff can read the questions to me, I would appreciate it uh, on the. If, if there are any questions from our families. I can only see my. Jamie, can you hear me? This is Katie yes. Poole. Okay, so Angela McGraw asked, will teachers be working from the school or from home? You know, it, it's definitely, uh, I, I can't speak for the teachers. I know a lot of, you know, most of the time they really want to be at school. Um, it, it's just a better learning environment. It's a better teaching environment. We're able to collaborate together. We're able to bounce things off each other. We're, we're able to support each other at school. Uh, but there will definitely be times, uh, and I'm thinking of my own situation with a second grader and a full time, uh, a wife that works full time. And, um, you know, we're going to all make it work as best as we can. And we want to be at the school every day. Um, but there'll be times where I'm sure we'll have to take care of household needs as well. But hopefully that answers it. Staff, you feel free to speak up there. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do it, but I am going to be there for the students and for my own family. So um, I so appreciate working with the staff at Evergreen. And uh, I know we're all going to have to just kind of figure this out as we go. But Angela, I think that was your question. Um, yeah, I was just kind of curious, you know, if they were going to be at school, you know, it might change the 
questions I ask, you know, like, oh, can you look this up for me? If they're at home, I'm not going to ask certain things. You know, that was my reasoning for asking. Oh, for sure. <laughs> And, and again, I, I think they will be at school a lot of a lot of the time. Well, and I also think that, you know, if they are at school, I might not feel like I'm imposing as much as if they were at home, you know? So that was another reason for my question. If they're home babysitting their own kids or watching their own kids, then I might be a little more hesitant to ask a question, <laughs> you know, out of respect for their space and time. Well, just so you know, in my classroom, I want you to communicate with me at home or whether I'm at school or wherever I'm at. I really, I really need that communication with the parents. So don't ever think of my home space, my home office as a different mindset than my school office. <laughs> that's I'm well, that's well said. Yeah, we, we don't want our parents to ever feel like you're imposing any time on us. That's that's what we do and that's what we're here for is to serve you so michelle buckley also put in the comment section that we'd like to have our kids get their picture taken even if parents don't want to purchase a packet we still need to have the picture taken so please bring your student to that meet and greet so that they can get their picture taken yeah and you might even <laughs> you might even throw them in the shower first you know, comb that hair, get them in a, you know, they're in kind of summer mode. So who knows what they look like, but I'm sure they're cute as ever. But um, yeah, put them in a decent shirt and, you know, comb that hair and get them all dolled up. And uh, we, we want a picture just for, we're going to have a yearbook or whatever, you know, we're going to have the, we're, we're still going to have something to remember the, the school year by. And, and hopefully we come back here in a couple months and we'll have a spring picture. Well, we will anyway, but um, yes. Thanks, Michelle, for putting that in there. Yes, they're scheduled for both open house days and the photographer will be there for the two hours both days. Uh, I, did we ever get the yearbooks from last year? Casey's smiling. I'm not sure if he's going to answer that. Yeah, I'll, I will answer that. Um, so due to the strange way the school year ended, it became summer homework for my yearbook team to work on that. And I just communicated with them today and we just need to actually get a picture of Mr. McCarty. Apparently we didn't have one and we need to get that in place. Then I need to do final edits and we'll send it to print. Generally the turnaround time on that is just a couple of weeks. So we should have yearbooks from last year in the next, I'm going to give us a little comfort <laughs> space and say in the next month. That's the plan. So I have a month to get a haircut. No, we, I should have taken a picture today, and I oh, totally thanks. spaced it. Okay. okay. If we have PCs available at home to use for schools, will that be allowed this year? I don't see why not. Why we? You know, if you feel like you have the need and you got everything you need at home and, and you know, an iPad is not, you know, we I think K2, the iPad's much easier um, for the child to upload things and do some things K2, but 3.5 if Chromebook and you have a PC, we just, we just want to make sure every child has their own device. And I know if I can comment that some parents' management of the devices was a concern and their own home devices they were able to change passwords on and make sure that students were only on there when they needed to be um and so if that's better for you then yeah by all means let's do that and if you need links and those kinds of things i don't think that's going to be much of an issue this year with the way that we're running it since everybody's kind of getting pushed into the same curriculum we're not looking at all these different app passwords and those kinds of things. So it should be a little bit easier this year 
and those home devices might be easier to navigate with. So I'm supportive of that. Any other questions uh, good for the group this evening? Any staff would like to, did I forget anything? Um, did I not explain anything very clearly? I'd like to welcome our new families as well. I know we're gonna have a couple new families and we're gonna have a new batch of kindergartners and uh, I saw one say hi to Mrs. Buckley, so welcome to our new families, and uh, what a way for a kinder to come into school. This is just going to be memorable, so memorable, I think, is a decent word to use, so. Any other thoughts or questions this evening? I don't want to keep you too long. I'll send out the PowerPoint tomorrow along with the recorded uh, version of tonight's meeting. And we will see you all next week, Wednesday and Thursday, three to five. Ms. Hey, um, Rebecca Kinsey had a question. Rebecca, you're muted. Can you unmute yourself? Um, possibly. I'm not very good at electronics. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I am hearing things and not from evergreen teachers, but I'm hearing things through the and um, I've heard things like the kids or the teachers aren't actually teaching the kids. It's going to be, and these might have been asked already because I just got on, but um, I'm hearing that the teacher that is doing the online school is actually teaching the kids, and our teachers are just there for if they need help with certain subjects. Um, and it seems really confusing. Are our teachers at Evergreen teaching us or is the online program teaching us? So there, there's a Fox Online and we, we just have two families in a Fox Online. And so a different teacher will be teaching those students that are a Fox Online. The other 84, 82 of our students are in the Fox Hybrid, which if they're a K-1 student, they're Miss Buckley. You know, two, three, Miss Miller, uh, four, five, Mrs. Poole, and six through eight, Miss Mr. Murphy. And but the difference between the two platforms that we got this year is it is a full online program, and of course the teachers are assisting and teaching when the student has trouble or needs that learning and doesn't get it from Ingenuity. But our teachers are coming alongside students and helping them through. But in Ingenuity is going to be a full online curriculum. So the curriculum's the same, whether they're Fox Online or hybrid in Evergreen School. Um, the difference is if they're hybrid, they're with our teachers. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying our teachers aren't teaching your child, but the Edgenuity program is facilitated the teaching all year long. Of course, the teachers will be there to provide instruction, to come along support, uh, small group instruction, uh, they'll be reading novels, they'll be responding, but Edgenuity is a full online program and Edgenuity does a lot of the teaching. There is, there is live videos, there's live interaction, they read stories, they respond, and they do modules. And our teachers are there to monitor, support, reteach, teach what they don't know, um, and help me teachers if I did not get that out correctly, but I don't know if that answers your question fully, but. I would also add that of course, in the event that we get to come back to school, uh, if you're in the hybrid model, you will be in the Evergreen teacher's classroom and we'll be providing the instruction at that point. So the fully online version, it's entirely moderated by another teacher that is not at Evergreen without the opportunity during the school year uh, to come into the classroom, whereas the hybrid, should that opportunity arise, and we hope that it does, and soon, then we'll get to be in the classroom 
receiving regular instruction from the Evergreen teacher? Two days a week. Do you have a follow-up question? There we go, sorry. Um, so basically what you're saying is, is that we will be in contact with our teachers on a daily basis at Evergreen, even doing the online program, hybrid program. Yes. When we're doing that. Yep, okay. every day. Perfect. Thank you. You bet. Uh, so I see. So basically, Edgenuity is like an interactive textbook and the teachers are still doing the teaching. What I would tell you there is they are, they are stating that Edgenuity is doing the teaching uh, through the online program. Of course, our teachers are helping doing the teaching through interventions and through small groups and through whole class and whatever the student did not understand or learn from Edgenuity. Our teachers are there to assist, support, intervene, respond, and so that they can do the learning. Uh, so it's kind of a joint model, but a lot of the day, the student will be going through modules and Edgenuity will be taking them through those mod modules with an interactive teaching. Hopefully I explained that okay, Phil. Any other questions good for the group this evening? You bet. Okay, we'll see you all next Wednesday and Thursday at Evergreen School. Look forward to it. Oh, Jamie's asking about school cleanup. Oh, no school cleanup. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.